third video of the block. Still smoking Earl at Golden Slice. Still drinking my Mountain Dew. The energy is finally kicking in, though I am still being a bit of a surly son of a bitch. This video is a little bit different. Today, I'm reviewing my lighter. When I first started smoking a pipe, I did a lot of research. Specifically, that was lame, into Zippo pipe lighters. And a lot of people said, never use a Zippo pipe lighter. It'll make everything taste like Zippo lighter fluid. So I never did. Always use these. Always pined for an old boy. And I had Zippos. I had them lying everywhere. I used to carry one as my part of my EDC. Even before I'd ever smoked a cigarette. I, when I started smoking cigarettes, I used Zippo. Uh, when I stopped smoking cigarettes and started vaping, I carry the Zippo around still. Whenever in the future or in the past, I pick up a pack of cigarettes because it's going to happen. I like cigarettes occasionally, especially Camel Wines. I have no shame. I gotta carry a Zippo again. And all this time I've been smoking a pipe, I've been carrying a Zippo around. Carrying a Zippo and a Bic. And the other day I was making my last order of smoking pipes. And I decided to take a look, see what cheap pipe lighters they had. And they had a Zippo pipe lighter for $15. And I was like, you know what? It's good enough for matches. Matches eight six zero. That should be good enough for me, right? I mean, that guy's been smoking a pipe for years. He's a YouTube presenter for years. The guy knows his stuff. Why wouldn't what he used be good enough for me? And furthermore, I love Zippos. I love that action, the click. You know, all that. I love the sound, I love the feel, I love the pocket size. I love the fact that they, um, they're refillable. They're zombie apocalypse proof, they're windproof. All the good things you want in a lighter. So I bought one. It was a black crackle case, which currently is housing the old housing of this. Now the lighter case here can't see it very well, but it's actually like the earth etched in with green paint over it. So there's Africa. And Australia is down there, so yeah, Africa, Europe, Australia, New Zealand is down there by Australia. Then the Americas are over here on the front. Um Ooh, I almost knocked something in there. Sorry. The uh, case is actually given to me my girlfriend for her anniversary. So, of course, I switched out the, uh, the just the lighter. The insert. Sorry, I usually try not to make a video at the end of the pipe. Uh... I'm very good at getting a pipe packed and keeping it lit for a while at this point. But when it gets to this level, when it's nearly empty, it just doesn't want to stay lit. Also, since my review for the tobacco has already gone out, I can say. I botched it a little bit, the, uh, the packing. Anyways, back to the lighter. So, yes. Um, 
at first, I tasted the fluid when I started using this. And I was like, okay, well, that's what everybody was saying. But I wanted to keep trying it. And I found that if you do this, and you immediately stick it over the bowl, you'll taste the lighter fluid. However, if you do this, and leave it lit for a second, and stick it over the bowl, then try to flick it close and fail. That you actually don't taste the fluid at all. Like not even a little. So, for me, it's perfect. I smoke in a windy environment, as anybody that watches my videos know. My part of Texas is super windy. So whenever I light with a back, I'm constantly having the flame blown out, blown out again, blown out again, and then it'll blow over my thumb and burn my thumb. Huge pain in the ass. Don't have that problem with the Zippo. Doesn't go out. Lights my pipe like a butte. Doesn't taste like fluid. Easy to carry around. Classy as hell. And cheap. And if you don't know, if you don't own a Zippo, Zippo has a lifetime warranty. So if anything happens to this, you just send it in and they'll replace it for you. It's wonderful. Stuff and Things did that with a couple of his brass lighters, which are gorgeous, by the way. And they actually sent him back the brass pipe insert with one of his brass zippos, which he didn't have before. That's great service. And they're an American company, so if you want to support an American company, buy a zippo. Like I said, they're cheap. $15 in smoking pipes. They'll last you a lifetime. Hell, they'll probably last your kids a lifetime if you have kids. They're well worth having around. They're a great thing to collect. There's always new cases. And if you have a few cases and you buy a pipe lighter, Insert, you can just swap the insert out and you can have a different case for every day of the week. So you can accessorize. Accessorizing, I've been told by people that are fashion forward, is important. So if you're fashion forward, smoke a pipe, and you care about that sort of thing, buy a Zippo. If you're not fashion forward, you smoke a pipe, and you just want a good lighter, Buy a Zippo. If you want to support America, buy a Zippo. Basically, if you don't already have a Zippo with a pipe wire insert, buy a Zippo. That's all for now. Talk to you all later.